Alright, peace fam. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Those is coming. So I gotta get ready to get up out of here. We're gonna do this one quick. Uh, I left the book outside that I wanted to share with y'all. Anyway, alright. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Alright. It is Kumba 812. Um, for those that don't know, we had uh, an incredible show. Well, not an incredible show, but we had an incredible workshop yesterday with Brother Wakesa. He will be continuing today. And the session today is $99. It'll be from 10 to 6 p.m. And there's going to be some life-changing information that's going to be given out. It's going to be at the Millennium Community School starting to today at um, 10 a.m. So I'm trying to get ready to get a out of here. All right, so I hope to see some of y'all over there. Um, limited space because we're going to be doing some intensive work. So um hope to see you in the place. Some people got their spots reserved, so we're going to handle our business. Um... Uh, man, listen, I read an incredible story yesterday, um, along with the workshop. Uh, the name of the story was Disobedient Sister. <sighs> Dog. I mean, it's like these African folk tales is just like opening up. I mean, it's just like, it's incredible. All right, so, um, I was able to, because y'all know I'm working on my financial, call it the financial steps, getting rid of my dead weight and re-engaging my wings, right, um, and it seems like some stuff is start trying to pop up when I don't need it to pop up and shit, you know, but that's how it is, um, uh, for those that also don't know, uh, I have started a specific page for the Nguza Saba Challenge, so it's at Nguza Saba Challenge on, um, on Facebook, you can find it on Facebook, um, I'm gonna be building on there with, um, people, um, cause, you know, we got the, we got the private group far as the Gusaba Challenge. Once you get on the Gusaba Challenge, you can on the private group on Facebook. But also now I got a public page because I'm, you know, for me the Gusaba Challenge answers a, a whole lot of, uh, it helps with a lot of issues, right? Um, just doing the 21 day thing, separating the whole cause, separation, initiation, reintroduction piece, it's all that in that little 21 days, and then you can extend it, like right now, I'm moving towards 63 days of doing different challenges, so um, you can use it in any fashion that you want, but right now what we're going to do, we're going to pour, gonna pour. oh, I wanted to also share, right, because y'all know I've been talking about the four, five, six, seven. so I added two more two more steps to that. This is what good workshops do for you, right? They get you to start thinking, right? You know, so I'm like, damn, all right. So I got four, five, and six. What about the two and three, you know? The one, you know, be like one creator or whatever, you know? But what's up, brother? What's up, brother Duvall? All right, but we got two hours in every 24-hour period that we work on ourselves as a two. Three is the three levels of learning, memorization, intelligence of the mind, and intelligence of the heart, which is the highest form of intelligence. Four, right? Four things that we need to do. We need to breathe right. We need to drink proper water. We need to eat culturally appropriate food, and we need to move culturally appropriately, right? Five is the five parts of our being. Intuition, mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical. Six, six emotions. Peace, uh, uh, peace, peace, joy. Oh my God. I just got done doing all these yesterday. I wish you peace, power, and joy. Peace, power, and joy. Mad, sad, and scared. That's what we're doing the workshop on today, or at least a piece of it, um, with Brother Wakesa. Um, then we got the seven principles, all right, which we practice. And we use the label out today. So today is Kaumba. Today we're focusing on creativity, um, the modic principle of order. The Hermetic law today is cause and effect. Uh, if you was born on this day, 
um, and, and you a male, the name is Kwame, um, if, Kwame, my fault, um, and, and if you a female, the name is Amma, alright, and Wolof, um, we will be looking at Chup or Job, good character, just, honest, and righteous, um, the Khan principles for the day will be strong, strong character, and the attributes of good character from Yoruba will be Oju Inu Insight. All right, so now let's get down here and let's let's do these uh, libations, right? First, the first rule of family: we need to take in the water for ourselves and make sure that we're healthy. So I try to do 32 ounces. So go and get busy. I do the, uh oh, uh oh, I'm almost about to do my report on the ro rhodiola, for those that don't know, I've been taking the rhodiola, I'm checking it out, I ain't noticed nothing yet, so, um, I try to do 32 ounces, I suggest that all of y'all start your day off with water, because like I said, one of those, one of those, um, one of those four things is drinking water, drinking water. Um, the right type of water. Mm. Last one, then we're gonna get this. Um, y'all hear my little girl's about to come downstairs so I'm gonna have to hurry this up so I gotta get out of here cause you know I like to try to steal the show and since I can't record the way I used to I can't keep them shots out to once again brother DeBall shots out to Brittany Marshall shots out to uh, uh, Sheila Tarpe alright this one I think is one of the cherries old and mature down to my last, y'all. But once I get my finances together, I don't have to worry about not having enough. That's gonna work. Y'all see how it's bubbling up? Yeah, brother, I tell you, be brewing, fam. All right, so let's do this quick. Let me make sure there ain't nothing I forgot to tell y'all. All right, one of the things that, um, like for example, I'm using Bootstrap Challenge right now to kind of hone in and get control of my personal finances. What do I mean? Um, I'm looking at uh, money going out and money coming in and trying to find a way to balance it. Because right now, yesterday, I was kind of shocked at how much money I spend on the internet every month to do shit like this. It's incredible, right? You know, so either I need to, either I need to put it up under a business umbrella or I need to get it to really start producing because in small ways it's producing but it's not nearly producing as much as I'm spending every month right and we need to start facing the realities beyond behind some of the things that we do so that because once we face the reality it makes it easier for, easier for us to change it like some of us we be coming up with some of these fantasies and shit uh, fantasies of, of grandeur and, you know and we need to really be honest with ourselves now I like doing it. I like podcasting. I like I like streaming over Facebook. I like doing this type of stuff. I like sharing information. So I'm I'm gonna find a way to make this a little bit more affordable. But I'm quite sure each of y'all in your life you have something that you're overspending on, right? So I probably won't be doing a show on YouTube today because what I was gonna try to do, and once again Facebook has kind of disappointed me. Um yeah, last night, um, uh, Brother Wakesa let me uh, 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 um, live stream his, uh, his workshop last night. But in live streaming, um, I decided to do um, voice only, right, like a podcast. 
But now I'm finding out after I go back that I can't I can't download the uh, live stream. I haven't figured out how to do it yet, so I'm gonna see how I see see about um, doing that, so I could go and post it up as a as a video on on YouTube as well, so that um, everybody can have access to it. You don't have to just be on Facebook, but a lot of people the the, the second largest search engine on the internet is YouTube, so a lot of people will be looking for stuff on YouTube. So I want to make sure that people can um, check out Brother Wakasa's uh, workshop because that shit was the bomb last night. Um, for those that 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 don't know what I'm talking about, check my timeline. You can see Brother Wakesa. Um, there's a a, perch, a purple flyer on the internet. That's and you click on that, and you'll be able to hear the workshop. It's two hours, right? But I'm just I'm telling you, um, you might want to jump in there and check that out. Uh oh, Brother Kwame's in the house. Brother Kwame's in the house. What's going on? So I'm just breaking down. Um, some of the stuff that, uh, that, well, I was just telling them about the workshop last night. We also are getting ready to go to the workshop this morning. Um, I was talking about how, because, um, on my workshop right now, not on my workshop, but on my Goose and Cyber Challenge, uh, Facebook page, right? I'm talking about letting people know that, um, you can use the Goose and Cyber Challenges initiation using Google Summer Challenge to get to clean up your life. You know what I'm saying? Um to, to get some stuff in order. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, our ancestors said the best light is achieved by engaging with systematic process. But let's go and toast these ancestors so I get up out of here and be on time um to let people in at the school. So here we go. First Getting honor to the Creator by whatever name you choose to call it, Creator. We lift up our glass and we say our shay. From there we move to our personal. It's a great kumba. Got to get my shave on. So one love and I'm out. Handle your business. All right. Um, we toast our personal ancestors, right? You know, you know the names. Call your personal ancestors. One of the things I'm gonna suggest for people to do is start keeping a log of the ancestors that you call. So all you gotta do is pull the paper out and recite them, right? Unless you gotta memorize, like I do, right? But call on your personal ancestors. We lift up our glass to our personal ancestors. I'm gonna start calling mine. Miles Brown, Ms. Ann Roberts, Texas, Davis, Herbert Brown, Senior, Rosalie, Tilly, George, Wayne, Walter, Chris, and Fanny Gadsden. I mean, Uncle Chris, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, um, um, Avira Brown, um, Gina Gaines, um, uh, my Uncle Wash Ellis, Jr., uh, my Aunt Katie, uh, Cecil Ellis, my father, um, my Aunt Barbara Twiggs, um, uh, Mark Wash, um, John Fillard, um, Jermaine Jones, um, Montague Pittman L., uh, Dr. Marianne Williams, Kojo Kamal, uh, Terrell Dunbar, uh, Tony Clark. Um, that's all I can think of right now. We lift up our glass to our personal ancestors and we say our shade from there. We salute this moment because this moment is all that we have. So in this moment is our power, right? Our total and absolute power. You don't have no power in the future. You have no power in the past. The only power that you ever, ever have in your life is in the moment. So I want you to embrace this moment. I want you to love this moment. I want you to I want you to live this moment not necessarily as your last because for some of us that has a negative connotation cuz y'all go out and do some crazy shit if you think it's your last moment, right? But embrace the moment like you're not promised anymore. Extract every piece of life out of this moment and empower yourself and we lift up our glass and we say our shay. From there, we move to our children. Our children's children, we salute them. We salute them in advance, right? The ones that's here and the ones yet to come. So we lift up our glass to our children, our children's children to infinity because what we do in the moment shapes their time. So we lift it up and we say, Ashe, from there I salute you. Toast you. If you have any issues that you want to, um, 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 want us to toast as a group, like I have a friend that's, uh, Recovering in the hospital now. Um, I met her over YouTube. Her name is Vern Love. 
we are um, toast to her, making sure. I'm hoping that her stuff, I'm hoping that um, her health is cool. Oh, and my nephew got his first football game today. So we're going to lift up and we're going to toast uh, um, a little bub out there. He got his first game today. So, I, you know, we're looking for some success. You know what I'm saying? We want him to have a great game. Um, let me see. Um, I want to. I'm going to have to toast Khalid, you know what I'm saying? Because Khalid had a, a kind of a rough week. week. Somebody rolled up on him and, and robbed him. He had, he, unfortunately, he experienced his first robbery as a young black man, you know what I'm saying? Um, and that's very unfortunate. So um, I had to have a talk with him after I calmed down. Um, so we toast him. Um, and I toast you, fam. You know what I'm saying? If there's anything out there that you need toasted, I ask that the ancestors and the creator bless you. And we lift up our glass and we say, Ashe, 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 Ashe. I wish you peace, power, joy in 100 years, fam. Peace. And I'm out because I got to go get ready because we got this workshop today. And I'm gone, fam. Peace. Uh, oh, my fault. Brother Hassan, thank you for stopping in. Um... Sister Pearl Thomas, thank you for stopping in. Um, Brother Kwame, I see you over at the spot. Peace. Well, for those that are in that want to come, um, it's 3500 Refugee Road. Peace.